been preserved. And as we realize that, the way that it has been preserved, we realize that like every moment, it was unrepeatable. It is as though she is holding the moment between her forefinger and thumb on the scales of the past and the future. Despite its apparent celebration of property, this painting is about the mystery of light and time as we look up at the stars. Not for one moment would I deny or belittle the significance and achievement of paintings like these. But we should not confuse these exceptional paintings and everything in the museums, everything said by art experts encourages this confusion. We should not confuse such exceptional works with the purpose and significance of the general tradition. Let me show the difference again, this time at the highest level. Two self-portraits by Rembrandt. One when he was young, one when he was old. But the difference between them isn't just a question of how age changes a man's character. In the first painting, Rembrandt used the style and methods of the tradition for their traditional purposes, as an advertisement for the owner's good fortune, prestige and wealth. In the later painting, he has turned the tradition against itself. All has gone, except a sense of the question of existence, of existence as a question. Intermittently, the tradition can breed within itself a counter-tradition. But the basic values of the tradition win in the end. This painting now has a fabulous price on its head, perhaps three million pounds. It has itself become a fabulous object of property. Of course, a lot more can be said about European oil painting than I have said. Yet what I have tried to show is a fundamental part of the truth which is usually ignored. We study other cultures far away as anthropology. That's to say, we study them from the outside. We don't judge them purely according to their own explanations of themselves. Now, if we look at the culture of the European oil painting in the same spirit, leaving aside its own claims for itself. I believe we will find that oil painting was, before everything else, a medium which celebrated private possessions. The tradition of the oil painting has now been broken once and for all. In some ways, publicity has taken its place. The sight of it makes us want to possess it. And publicity is the subject of our program next week. Mm -hmm.